Okay, so I think we are recording. Yeah, I'm very sure we're recording. Either way, um, so I did just, um, alright, on the, um, all right, how do I put this? Is I can't really concentrate because of this music, so let me pause. So, I'm about to do something I did not expect me to do in a while. So, I do have some quick updates. I did read the Epic Hummel on Water Island and on Mio Plant Island. Oh, also, uh, even better news. Boom. This will revive. Now oh, that's awesome. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. So instead of zapping, you have to actually revive them. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's why they have like a whole different type. That's cool. Oops, uh, let's see. Okay, um, sells for one million something coins. Okay, technically, this took me... Uh, I think they can give you a little less time on to do all this, because I did it in under... I mean, in... I still had about a little over a week left, so... And their statues are much, much bigger than what they are. Which I find unexpected to me. I don't know, that's weird. They did not look like the statues at all. I mean, they look similar, but watch on um, uh, right here, we're under their name. Watch how much they grow when they turn the statue and then shrink normal. Yeah, it's weird. But I still think it's cool. I'm not exactly sure what they produce in, like, currency. Also, sad thing, as, um... Alright, the so wool box, um, so I believe it's like the Zyth, that's what it's called. Yeah. It ended up giving more, more shards than the wool box did. They both gave me shards at one time, and then it gave me more shards than the wool box. So, disappointing news is, um, wool box don't exactly give you a lot of coins. I meant currency, but I still like their beat. So, technically, the best thing would be just have as much as, like, Zyth or some, or maybe even this guy. They're extremely easy to do, like, as in, like, Zap, a normal, and then, but actually, they take up super, like, so little space, you could have so many of them to have so much different currency at, a, at the same time. Also, I did end up breeding the fung prey, which is really lucky, because I kept trying the humbug and then the geode, and then the first time I tried geode and then humbug, boom, I get it right away. It is kind of late. It's not, it's only like 8 in the, um, evening, but either way, it's really dark. Okay, that was weird. Okay, um... Okay, so at first when I was doing this, I got really, really worried. Alright, so... You can see here is like the wall box. Check in. Just was wondering, what's it look like in here? Okay, I guess it just looks like that. And then when I'm placing it, I see it like that. And I'm kind of scared because now it's boxed again. I place it, it's normal. So if anyone needs a boxable box just for a second. Uh, boxable box. That's a weird word. Either way, um, it doesn't do anything other than eliminate some coins. Because you are taking away a slightly a little bit of time away from the coins. But either way. Yeah, so... I have to go back to that for a second. For the proof of me breeding that. Yes, I have very little diamonds, I know, because... Wait, why did I, why did I spend so many? I know I spent a lot on something. I did move this wall box over here. 
What did I end up buying? I forgot. I had like... Well, I did end up buying this uh, 5 thing right here. And that was after I had a bunch of diamonds already. So I almost had 200. I forgot... Oh, yeah. I bought, uh, first of all, those breeding upgrades. And then... This one. So I had over 200 at one point, I guess. Yeah. Also, yeah, I did get this guy on level 16. This is still on level 17. Wait, there, it's only on level 17. I did not realize that. Also, I did start buying another one of these things. No, I did not buy another near island yet. Oh well. And close? No. Anyway, as soon as I uh, make another video, I'll tell you what the currency is. Technically, since each one of these Waplin, they're only 5,000 coins. Each thing is only 5,000 coins. That's it. So it's pretty cheap. And then each time that you get a new one, it it can give you up to like almost 40,000 coins. That's like eight times as much as they're worth. That's just in the coin rate. I mean, that's just what happened with the coins. I think it's 40,000 anyway. Is that? No, it's like eight times as much, not four. Either way, um... Technically, if that means that if they give me diamonds, it should give me about a few hundred, maybe. Because usually they do give you more than what they're worth. Plus, just the cheapest one of these guys I have is this guy right here. And just him. Look at all that. And the Wobblin, the hardest one to get is the wall box, and I already have it. But I, this is the first one of this one I uh, ever had, so they're pretty expensive. Plus, look at this Bial right here. That's the cheapest one. This one. Boom, that's a 3,000. And then this one, after I zapped a bunch of random monsters into here, just because I can... That's already, so it could be near 10,000, so, yeah, they're a lot. Either way, this is pretty cool. Also, I did have to show you guys some... Right, that's the work in progress I was showing you guys. Ah, I keep messing up. Mmm, I am so bad at this. And then go, boom, beat after beat. So I'm just, so I think the rest of the video is just gonna be this, so. You guys can just move along if you don't wanna hear it. Okay, I guess it's this one next. Can you bigify these guys? Oh, yeah. I might bigify him, but probably not. It's pretty expensive. And then... This one gets really weird really fast.
and then, and then it's just the top one. Then it goes back. Okay, that's really weird. But that is why it goes. It's B after B. It goes them, 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 them. Random. Yeah. I'm, re I'm still really curious about what this. Well, these rewards are like the rate. Because I look up videos. It's no I can't find any info about it. So, as soon as I can, I will show you guys the, um, like what it, the rewards are. So, goodbye.